Good morning. I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Wednesday, September 6th. Some schools and roads in Chester County once again shut down today as authorities widen their search for convicted killer Danilo Cavalcante. He escaped from prison last week and was last seen at Longwood Gardens carrying a backpack, a duffel bag, and a hoodie. Philadelphia's police commissioner Danielle Outlaw is turning in her badge. Her last day on the job is September 22nd. She rendered her resignation, leaving to become the deputy chief security officer at the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. And today's extreme heat prompting several school districts to send students home early again today. 74 schools in Philadelphia do not have air conditioning, and a lot of other districts are also having a half day because of the heat. We have a list of the schools impacted on our website, cbsphiladelphia.com. And now for a look at our next weather forecast, that heat that's sending some of those kids home. Here's meteorologist Kate Vila. Good morning, Kate. Good morning to you, Janelle. Yeah, it is a scorcher, a September scorcher, and it's the fourth day of our current heat wave. This will be the longest heat wave of the summer. Heat wave defined as three or more consecutive days above 90 degrees. Today will be its fourth day. Yesterday we got to 94, just shy of the record, but today looks like we have a good chance of breaking it. Same record as yesterday, 95 from 2018, and it looks like we're headed to 96 or 97. Full day of sun. And humidity not as high as it could be. Dew points in the mid 60s this afternoon, but it will feel like around 100 to 102. And we do have a heat advisory because of that. So across the region today, record heat 96 in Philadelphia, 88 down the shore, and 93 for the Lehigh Valley. There is your heat advisory. Lehigh Valley, the Poconos, the shore points not included in that. All areas basically either side of Philadelphia County are included, and that goes until 8 o'clock this evening. Taking a look at a, the bigger picture here as far as satellite and radar. We've got some storms off to the west over the Great Lakes. That's what we'll be watching come tomorrow. There will be the, the chance for a few scattered storms on and off throughout the day, but especially tomorrow evening. So today looks dry. Tomorrow, a few spotty shower chances right there midday, but looks like a better chance as a line moves in from the west. Later tomorrow evening, there's 9 p.m. showers and storms, and this is going to kick off a more unsettled pattern as we start to break the heat. But it's going to take a while. So Friday, another chance for spotty storms. Over the weekend, scattered shower or storm chances each afternoon with the front stalled nearby. We will cool down, though. Highs only in the low 80s by Sunday. Janelle, I'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Kate. And remember, you can always get Kate's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories here on CBSPhiladelphia.com. That's the latest for your morning digital brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Have a wonderful Wednesday.